In this moment of constitutional crisis, do you wonder how decisions at the highest level of government actually get made? When President Obama gave the orders for the Osama bin Laden mission, he wasn't by himself. Instead, he was surrounded by his closest advisors, many of whom were secretaries in the president's cabinet. The president is responsible for enormous diplomatic, domestic, and constitutional decisions every single day. These are huge decisions to make, and one person cannot be expected to have all of the expertise and the experience to make that decision by themselves. This is the origin story of the president's cabinet. 222 years before, when the first president took office, he did not have a cabinet to support him. Instead, President Washington had to make almost every single decision about how the government was going to work by himself. The cabinet actually wasn't created until two and a half years into the presidency. It contributed to some very positive moments and some very negative moments. It almost caused war and it helped avoid war. This story reveals how much power individuals can have in the president's cabinet. In this moment of partisan tension, we need to know where the government actually came from, how it was founded, and how these institutions came to be. How Washington created the cabinet is really essential to understanding the origins of our government. I'm Lindsay Chervinsky, and my book is The Cabinet, George Washington, and the Creation of an American Institution.